Hello all, this is Alim Mansuri and I am going to teach you how to get multiple data set result from the database and store them into the uh, ADO.NET data tables, okay, using C Sharp ADO.NET. So in this video, we, we are going to cover these three points. The first is how to get multiple result from the data table, means uh, SQL data table, okay, from the database. Then second, we will see how to store these multiple result sets which came from database into store into the data table, which is available in the ADO.NET component. And then third one is how to iterate these result sets using for each loop. So this is our fifth video in the ADO.NET series. So let's start with this. Okay, so first we will create a procedure which will get the multiple result sets from the database so here is the procedure code i have already created this to save our time so let's open the sql server so you have to go to sql server then open it connect your server here okay so these are your number of databases so out of this i am going to use demo db database so here click on the new query Okay, I am having two tables already created in our uh, database and it is having some data as well. So these are these two tables. First is employee master P. If you see this by executing the query. So these are the number of four records are there in this table and it is having four column. Whereas the second table is having two columns ID and name and it is having seven rows. So what I will do, I will create a procedure which will return or which will select data for these both tables and it will return the output so here is the procedure okay let me copy it <clears throat> this is very simple procedure create procedure and i have given the procedure name here then as begin and it is having these two queries select star from employee master p and that other one queries right so you have to simply create a procedure let's create this the procedure is created successfully uh, we will test it once so you have to simply write execute exec then procedure name so if you execute this procedure you will see there are two results which are written by this procedure right so this is my first result and this is my second result so what I want to do, I have to write a ADO.NET code, which is written in the C Sharp, right? In the console application. And I have to get these two result from the database and I have to store these two result into the data table. So let's open Visual Studio. Okay, let me take a new project. So here simply what we will do, we will go to file new project. And from here, we will select console application. So go to Visual C Sharp, then find console application .NET framework. Here, give some name. Result and store in data table. Okay. Then create the application, click on OK button. So it will create an application, which is console application. Okay. So this is our program.cs file. And uh, I will write code here, which will uh, retrieve the data. So we are already having basic knowledge of ADO.NET. And we know that the different namespaces and classes, which are available to work with the ADO.NET. So I am going to use a ready-made code, which is I am already having here. So this will help us to save our time. So the first line is connection string, right? So let me copy it. So you know the connection string, it is having data source, then initial catalog and integrated security parameter. So you have to pass your server name here, then your database name here. So I am using demo DB database. That's why I have given the demo DB database name here. Okay, this is my connection string. Then let's add a other classes so i'm adding this number of four classes okay so first class is sql connection which is used to establish the connection i have provided this parameter here i have to add this namespace here 
uh, the namespace is system dot data dot SQL client. So you can see that it is added here, right? Same way, I have to add this another namespace as well, which is for command type. Uh, let's add this as well. So this is system dot data. Okay, so these two namespaces are added here. <clears throat> so as we know, this is my SQL connection class. Then this is my SQL command class. So here I have to give the procedure name, which I have created. So let's give the procedure name. This is my procedure name. So I have given this here. Then this is where we define the type of our query. So this is my procedure type, right? Then this is SQL data adapter. Okay, so let's add other code as well. Okay, so this is the remaining code. Okay, so I have, I have added this. So here we will execute the query. Then once it is executed, the result will come into the data adapter object. But as we know, we cannot read uh, data from data adapter directly. So what we have to do, we have to store this result somewhere and it is possible to store this into the data set. So here we have created a data set object and we know that data set is the collection of tables. So whatever the number of results we got from the database, it will be definitely stored in the data set. So here we will do that. We will use this fill method to store this data, data adapter data into the data set. Okay. And after that, here what we do, the number of results which we got from the database, we will separate this. Uh, these are stored in the data set, right? So we will separate this. And to separate this, we will use data table class. So here I have stored first result in the DT1 and I have used this code ds dot tables of zero. So zeroth index table will be stored into the data data table one object, DT1 object, and first index table will be stored in the data table two object. So let's execute this program in, in debug mode and see how it works. So I'm running this. Okay, so these things we already know. So we will go at the end. So here it will fill the result into the data set. So if you see the data set, so you can see that the result is there and uh, it is having two tables, right? This is my table and this is my table one. So it is having this both table result, the same result which got us in the database as well. And we got same result into the our C sharp code as well, right? We have used same procedure there. So here we got same result, correct? If you see this result and if you see this result, it is same, right? And this is my other table result, right? So you can see that. Okay, so we got these two tables available in the data set successfully. So we have to separate this. And to, to do that, what we have done, we have used data table class object. So as we know, we are having two tables here. So first table index is zero. And second, second table index is one. So we have used index here. You can see that we have used this index. You can see that this object is null right now. And the this other another object also null right now, right? So once you execute this, now you can see that it is having some table, right? And if you see that this is the first table, which is the uh, which is available at the zeroth index. Now this is my second table. If you expand this, you will see that this is my second second table. So we got these two result into the two different data table, right? Now what we have to do, we have to print this two result, okay? So I have created code for this as well. So I'm uh, having ready this code here. So this is the code, this is the code, okay? Okay, so here what we have done, we have used data row class to iterate the data table. So here we are using dt1.rows object, okay, so which will return one by one row, okay, and that row is having this number of column, employee ID, name, is active, and salary. So this is how I have printed this. So it will execute four times because it is having four rows available. And you will see the both and the same uh, these rows are printing on the our console UI, right? 
So this is my first row, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth, okay? Now, the same thing will happen here as well, but it is having, I, I think, seven plus rows. So I'm directly executing this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is also executed. If you see the console, you can see that these are number of rows which are printed here, right? So this is how you can get multiple results from the database and you can store this into the data set or data tables. And this is how you can retrieve this. Okay, I'm stopping the code. <clears throat> so this is my whole code, uh, which we have used to achieve this functionality. You can see that this is the complete code. Okay, so, so the same code is available in this text file as well. So I can show you the whole code. Okay, this is procedure and this is my idio.net code. So this is how we can <coughs> retrieve multiple records using C-sharp idio.net. Okay, so we are done here.